What's up guys, Lou here back with another video and today we're gonna talk about customizing your Apple Watch. As you see here, I have a third party band installed on my watch. This has like a carbon fiber look with some red stitching. It's just a basic band off Amazon. I'll actually link it down in the description if you're interested. But essentially, I've gone ahead and installed this instead of the stock leather band that came with my Apple Watch. Now you're probably wondering, Lou, how did you do that? Because I've seen all these different Kickstarter projects for adapters that people are saying are necessary to swap out your watch band, or, or maybe you've seen Apple's other bands that are available for purchase independently that start at around $200 and go to $600. But I'm here to show you the simplest, most straightforward way to put any watch band you want onto your Apple Watch using a simple, inexpensive screwdriver. What? Really? So this little screwdriver features a pentalobe tip, which is quite unusual and probably not in your toolbox, though Apple has been using this style of screw for a while now on various devices from iPhones to MacBooks and of course now in the Apple Watch. This is a tiny little version of it. I will link this exact model down in the description if you want to do this kind of surgery yourself. So before we get into this process, I need to mention quickly that in order to do a swap out like this independently with your own third party watch band, you'll need to start with the leather watch strap setup from Apple. So my recommendation is to purchase an Apple Watch with this band pre-installed. Therefore, the third party options will be configurable with your Apple Watch. Now, the reason for this is because of the setup, the way that this mechanism works. On the leather band, you have this metallic loop here that goes through as opposed to some of the other band styles which travel straight into the metallic connector itself. And when you remove these, you'll notice right away on the leather band setup that you have these two screw points here, tiny, tiny little pentalobe screws. Upon removing these screws, be very careful not to strip them and also not to lose them because as mentioned, they are tiny. But I'll go ahead and show you what happens when you remove these screws. So after removing these screws, you'll be left with a few components. The two screws themselves, this metal bar, and then this other bar that travels right through the strap itself and connects like this. So this part is the key component. This is what will enable you to install any watch band, any standard watch band that uses this same style. And believe me, there are tons to choose from. So you can set something up that's completely unique to yourself, no Kickstarter required. So reinstalling the strap works exactly the same way as you break it down. You just insert these metal rods back into the strap. They will connect in the center. You'll sort of be able to line that up yourself. Then you take this connector portion, line that back up, should fit on very easily. Then take your tiny little pentalobe screws and attempt to fit them in there. And then you just go ahead and tighten down these screws, making sure not to over tighten them. But that's really it. Fairly straightforward, two screws and you can put any watch strap you want onto your Apple Watch so long as you're starting with the leather band instead of a different one. Anyway guys, there you have it, a custom Apple Watch strap setup. Hope you enjoyed this content and you found it useful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will catch you on the next episode. Now go customize your Apple Watch. Later guys.